Hello. Now we're going to try and actually complete some tasks today because I know you're all sat at home wondering what on earth are these idiots up to. Good morning, welcome back to a fresh week on the boat. I've got a few little tasks this morning, mainly I'm going to focus on trying to figure out the overheating issue from last week. I might need to pop to the boatyard and pick up a bit more pipe because I need to relocate the temperature sender. And then I've got fire bricks and a new grate to fit. Coffee first. So here's part of the problem. I've tried to seal it up before but it just keeps leaking. It's on the little elbow here. Um, options are take all the batteries out, remove the shelf which is well and truly stuck in and try and get it welded or try and get it done for now with some liquid weld or uh, JB weld or something along those lines. I think it's letting in air as the water's coming out which is then causing an airlock which I want pumping through to add to it where I've put this temperature sender because this one's knackered that's that was just glued in that's not that's like loose there's no thread or anything there and that one didn't match the gauge I put this one in line but I think I've put it at the wrong end because the thermostat lets water in but it's letting the cold water in so I've put it on the cold feed which it should be in this line just to show everyone that calls me a genius that I'm not <laughs> far from it. So the plan of action is disconnect this, drain whatever needs to into the bucket, get some more pipe to close this gap up. Well, a, a, a full length, I'm not going to try and plug it, I'm just going to get a full length there. Fit the thing, the temperature sender in here, and then fire it up and see if I can get a decent reading. Up on my gauge. I'm just gonna go everywhere anyway. Right, I've got the last bodge off. I'm gonna put some of this wrap tape on it for now. Hopefully that'll see us through the winter and then I'll reassess the situation in the summer when the weather's a bit better. Might get Kev out, try and weld it, take the batteries back out, have a bit of a summer service. Telling the truth, it'll probably be on there for a couple of years, but if it fixes it, it fixes it. Okay, change of plan. I don't think the tape's going to work because there's not quite enough ledge. So I'm going to extreme heat, temperature resistant, metallic repair paste it and then put the tape over as a secondary precaution. But before I do that, I'm gonna get the pipe because any movement's just gonna crack that before it cures, so to the boatyard. Sorry I didn't film it, but I fitted the pipe. I wanted it as warm as possible, so I heated it up in the van and then <laughs> ran down, put it straight on, and I put some of the liquid weld on. So I'm not gonna to touch it for a little while, just let that cure. And probably tackle the rest of that another day because that does take a little while, especially when it's cold. Next on the list is our fire whilst it's empty. Got these fire bricks which fit nicely, I think I showed you before. But we might cut them length so that these will fit in. Oh, they do fit. I was debating tucking the edge down in, but I think that's quite sturdy as it is actually. Like boo boo. When I cut this down, I didn't account for the fire bricks. Oh, oh dear, watch your tiles. Um, I'm definitely going to have to cut more of these ridges off. That's a shame, man. I'm gonna have to chop the front bits off. 
it just seems a shame to cut this down even more so I'm going to leave the fire bricks out for now it's got a nice air gap underneath and we'll see how we get on right next on the list this is sort of holding progress up a bit it's going to be some of the plumbing in behind this stud it's going to be a lot going on because you've got the basin light switch gas pipes like water pipes as well all sorts and until i do this can't put the ceiling trims up which are in the way on the floor because they're 5.1 and 5.4 meters long I'm toilet roll. so i'm mounting the basin a bit higher than a standard one on the other side it's roughly going to be there it'd be good to get the fixings into the stud a nice bit of strength that means I need to around here. Pencil. Oh dear. I'm hoping something like this will work. Oh, so it looks like that's compression, isn't it? What that screw on there? Scrap that. Okay, so I'm trying to get from the basin waste into pipe like this of some sort to then come through here into a lower outlet because, as someone pointed out in the comments, the sink, by the time you come down to the waste, in there somewhere. The existing holes too high so i'm gonna have to put another one outside there's plenty of room water level wise to do it i'm gonna join this waste up with that and then the sh shower bath is gonna have its own outlet through there because it's pumped by an automatic not sure what brand it is well i think gulper yeah well gulper so it's not the size, I ordered the right size, but just the wrong connection that goes to compression. That's what I actually want is, I borrowed this from the bath. That's just a bath, a slimline bath trap, and that is inch and a half, and it screws in. So I think we want something like that, which then, this also pinched from the bath, that screws on there. And essentially that's gonna go bottom of the basin and that bend will be inside the stud, which then connects onto that sort of pipe, or rigid. I'm not sure what's the best option at the minute, but that with two Jubilees on won't leak. Maybe something like that be the other side. I'll come in at that. I can gently slope it down through the stud. Right, I found another one of these which will work. It's at Tour Station in Froom, so I'm gonna pick that up on the way home. Not massive progress today, but a fair bit in my head that I know is sorted now, if that makes sense. Sometimes it's good just to have a stop, think, plan stuff out. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. It is Friday. We are over here. I think today we are going to focus on cutting these and cutting the skirting. So that's sort of one job done. And also I'm going to paint the... Um, wardrobe one more time because we went to Ikea the other night and we got these which took us two hours to make I don't know if that's good or bad but that was our time um, and then we can put them in and then I can bring clothes over Joe's shaking his head at me so first task is move this big timber pile out of the way because I need to measure the ball nose going to go in there then I'm going to pull all this stuff out to the middle tuck these ceiling trims away because it's going to be a while until we cut the plywood and put that up there and there's a few things we can't well we can't do this until we've done a few things so i might as well let danny paint that wall in behind at least one coat of green before we start putting the kitchen in lost you there for a minute a friend come to visit threw us off just had a nice breakfast roll. You do let down. Let the food go down. I've got some in my eye. You don't care. Uh, Danny's given us a second coat. Once that's dry, 
our uh, draw unit can go in there, that'd be out of the way. My next job is going to be drilling the hole lower down for the sink and basin outlet. I need to size up what height, so I'm going to move it around, a little shuffle. This is roughly where the sinks go in. And whatever height this comes down to is what we base where the holes go in. So I've been outside and checked, and we can come 200 mil down from that, and that would still allow 10 inches then to the water line, which is what they recommend. But I'm hoping we can get away with having it a little bit higher. These moorings along here are great for this little ledge that you get. Put a bit of plywood down so I don't get wet. So my bodge fix from yesterday and the system hasn't worked and it's actually worse than the silicone I took out. So the only option really is gonna be take the batteries out, rip the battery tray out, I'm trying to get it welded. Quick message to Kevin all sorted. He's gonna pop around next week and have a look. Um, see if he can either repair it or if not chop it off and replace it I assume. I didn't get round to tackling the waste in the end but we just set past it instead. <laughs> Danny, <laughs> Danny's gonna paint these or stain them. So screw him and we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Now we're going to try and actually complete some tasks today because I know you're all sat at home wondering what on earth are these idiots up to? I haven't got a clue what they're doing. What's on their list? So this is all painted now. We've brought this in, put it in there. First of all, you need to cut some of this conduit for it to sit a bit better. Yeah. I put um, some wood filler so I'm going to sand all that and then that's ready to paint. I've also done this side. So that's ready to paint. Yeah, but I think I'm going to paint the green in the kitchen area first so then you can sort of do the plumbing without me yeah. having to try and paint around it. So, first I'll fix that. Yep. I'm going to hang the basin today as well. Thought it'd be a good idea because then we can actually wash our hands. We've been using hand sanitizer, don't worry. And also wash up over here a lot easier. What else can we do? Is that going to be in the way though, before tying the tile? Probably. It's all going to be in the way though, isn't it? At least you know where it's going. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah? Sod it, I'm going to do it. And got a bit of skirting, which Danny stained last night to fit. And also I've got the oak for the fireplace over here. Do also ready to... Yeah, because you're going to have to do the... We're going to do the back first and then... Yeah. Nice coat done. Oh, sand did dry. Yeah. Nice. Now, nothing ever gets done on an empty stomach, so just pop the shops and make some nice baguettes up or ciabatta, a roll of some description. How much can I interest you in? A bit more? That? Is that nice? What are you having? I love that. That's not half. No, I think you won't like the bread ratio of how much cheese we got. One. It's a bit mean, isn't it? <laughs> we'll share some 
That is a bit tight. Sorry. Once that's gone down, I think it's time for a coffee and then work. Actual bleeding work. Hello? Danny's got herself in a bit of a situation. You done? Yeah. Oh. I can't do the thing up, but I filled out too much, I can't pull it out. Can you help me? So these are the bits I was waiting for for the water pump. Instead of connecting up to a barbed, like flexible hose connection, these actually go into a half inch BSP so I can put that sort of fitting on, but a half inch. Now, ideally, a bit like that. Or I could fit it like that and create a mount. If I start it upside down, the holes are on the wrong way. Basically, the flow is this way. If I it like that, it's wrong. I could go like that, but like I said, the holes are on the wrong side to fit it to anything. So I think it doesn't take up too much room. It's just a shame that's not the other way. I think you can swap the I'm saying that, no you can't because it's a triangle. Hmm. I was after some timber to mount it on, but my timber pile is buried at the minute. So I'll tackle that at a later date, but I can still connect it. In situ insert. Normally forget the like washer that they come with. Right, and a bit to save some tripping hazards. We've got some loose lengths of skirting lying about. I don't know if you can sit against the floorboard. I don't know if you can sit against the floorboard, but. Right, catch 22 station again. I wanted to fit the skirting in here, but there's some five meter lengths of timber in the way. And that, oh, oh, that was close, you really seen the paint. They can see the paint? They can see the paint? They can see the paint. It's a bit bright for me at the minute. Danny and I, I wouldn't say debated, but we sort of met in the middle against what colours we wanted. Both compromised, I'm still not sure on it, we can see how it dries. Because it's so shiny at the minute, it really doesn't help. But we'll see in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. A lovely late start to finish the week off. It's about four o'clock, but here we are. I still turned up. Danny, if you're watching. <laughs> um, today's task, I don't know why I'm walking you into the bedroom. I'm gonna put a quick coat, final coat 
on the oak for the fire surround. That'd be good. Then that'd be dry for when I start next week. And then I am actually going to hang the basin today. I've decided on the other wall, and then the waste coming down here gradually into one of those holes. I think that'd be a good task. Finish a week after accomplishing something. I feel like it's been a bit bad this week. It's a lot of sort of mind games and thinking and not a lot actually happening. So it'd be good for me to actually do something productive. <laughs> So next up, I'm going to attempt to hang the basin, finally, you say. <laughs> now, just stick that there. So I don't know if we've spoken much about our basin, but it's a, a lape, a leap from Germany, still made in Germany out of steel and then enameled, I think. It costs way too much money for what it is, but I've seen it and I was like, I want it. So, um, so I might come off level with this. And go with that. Um, what does that help me achieve? How high do we want it? One basin. Hang on. Let's get you off there. Should I get? Quite like it. Oh, cool. Now to sort out the waste. This is the waste it come with. What's this down in there? That goes on the bottom. Excuse me, that? Nice. I think the battery I borrowed off my dad for lighting is going flat as well. Danny was here, she would have loved to have done that, but that goes down in there. This goes underneath. Sorry. Now the real fun begins. Now normally you'd have a trap on here, but I feel like because it's just going straight outside and to save the amount of room we're gonna lose for the drop because of the water line and also any water sat in here over winter, if we're not using the boat, it's more likely to freeze and crack. So basically, basically this is going on here. I think I'm gonna use some silicone, so I don't know how well. And then that's gonna I'm gonna drill back into the wall. Somewhere around there. I'm sure the plumbers in the audience are screaming at their screens and saying, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, I need to drill a hole that big. I blunt this one when I was drilling the hull. I don't know if that's going to go through very well. Oh, then it's got to get around that, and it. It's that one. No, I have to use that one. Oh dear! As you can probably tell, this is all guesswork, really. But as long as it flows out, I think it's going to want to go. And as soon as it curls in the other side, it's going to go like that. Ooh. Right, when that's done. Not far off where I thought it was going to come through. I've moved the basin slightly towards the wall to save more space to the bath side. Now, to minimise any joints too far in where I'd have to rip the plywood down. This is all being behind the fridge. So I'm gonna have a little access thing here. So I'm gonna put that through the stud and join it up here. Just 
just realised how big this core drill is compared to the stud. Now, I was thinking of using these pipe clips to hold it in place, but with a sheet of plywood going over the front up this half, with access here, I'm thinking if it ever leaks in the future, I can undo it via the sink, the basin, and here I'll have access and you could pull it through and replace it. Should it leak, it'd be a hell of a lot easier than taking the plywood off. Still a bit of pain, but less of a pain. I need some decent sized Jubilee clips to go over this. Cool, so it needs a couple of Jubilee clips and I'm going to sort some clips up there. Basically going to mount that up on a block of wood and then that secure it. I might notch that out as well. I think I'll leave that till next week. Genuinely thank you to everyone who takes time to leave a comment and is subscribed. A special thank you to our patrons as well. We'll see you next week. Good morning. Lemon. <laughs>